Perhaps you've heard about this little football game they're playing this weekend. Starts Sunday out in San Francisco. Well, the fans and the media there know what to expect. A thriving city and ideal weather. Think back 10 years ago when Super Bowl 40 came here to Detroit. Nothing was taken for granted. Jamie Edmonds is live with a look at our city then and now. And Jamie, it's not cause and effect, but it's an impressive difference, isn't it? Well, it depends on who you ask on that. You know, everyone's talking about the city of Detroit and the development going on right now. Well, the Super Bowl happened here 10 years ago, and that city was just a dream. But some people say hosting the big game prompted these big changes. The MVP, as far as I'm concerned, is the city of Detroit. That was Roger Penske shortly after Super Bowl XL. Now, a lot has happened in the 10 years since. Just ask its top cheerleader. We were probably at the 40, 40 to 50 yard line, and I'd say now we're right about the goal line. But changes didn't happen overnight. Think about it. Just as out of towners arrived for the big game, crews were frantically filling vacant windows on Woodward Avenue. Now the activity isn't fake, it's the real deal. Downtown occupancy rates are on the rise, plus, the M1 rail is becoming a reality. That we were on the verge of really coming back strong, that we were really growing into a vibrant future destination of the future. I'd say it's completely different. Um, there's just a general uh, buzz in the city now. I mean, more people are moving back. Uh, a lot of younger people are coming here. It's been a busy decade with a lot of lows. The automotive collapse, the housing market crash, bankruptcy, and the mayor's imprisonment. But also a lot of highs. Home prices rebounding, construction in the city rising, especially District Detroit, home to the new Red Wings Arena, skating right along. At the end of the day, the turnaround, says Alexander, began with the Super Bowl. What that Super Bowl did was it helped put us again on a national stage. That's right, and we didn't even touch on the nearly 300 million in improvements to Kobo, what they're planning for Riverfront, what Dan Gilbert is investing. Now, there aren't even stats about restaurants from back then, but just in two years, there are 77 new restaurants in town, 41 new stores. So the legacy of the Super Bowl and all this development is, are people coming here? Do they want to live here? I asked that young man outside of Kobo. He said, absolutely, I have plans in the next couple of years. Live outside Ford Field, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. There were 80 vacant storefronts that they had to paint along Woodward to make Avenue. To them look occupied. They're all occupied now. Oh, okay.